All right, jumping jacks. Your modification would be just this or here. We can go over, 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 over. Okay. Next we have windmill toe touches. We're going to keep the lower back tight, arms out, knee bend, and touch your toe. Touch your toe. Forward. So my um, right hand is going to my left foot and my right knee is bending. A more advanced version of that, you're going to raise your toe up and touch it with the opposite foot. And then we're going to be doing chicken, chicken walks. Put your hands on your hips. You're going to crouch down slightly. Put one foot out in front of you and sit back to stretch your hamstring. And you can walk forward and do this. Or stay in a stationary position, just going from one foot to the other. from the hip. Imagine that back leg in a straight line with your body. Coming down, coming up. And if your balance is not too good, make sure you're holding on to something. If your flexibility is great, then you can touch the ground and come back up. Modify it to your own fitness level. Do what feels comfortable. This is again just a warm up to loosen up all your muscles and get your body ready for the workout. And alternating, you just alternate legs. And the last movement would be standing knee to elbow. So we're gonna put our hands behind our head, right behind the ears. We're gonna bring the opposite elbow to the opposite knee. just in place. The modification would be with your hands down, touching the knee. This is a standing version of a bicycle crunch. 30 seconds at each movement, rest for a second or two, complete another 30 seconds, and that's your warm up.